With Hexagon, we have a number of different software solutions, which can obviously tie in with various different pieces of hardware that we offer. So then it's not a case of a customer having to learn new software, it's just a case of clicking and obviously selecting the different device that he's looking to use. Whether it be an arm, whether it be a laser tracker, can, can tie in with our software PC demos that you can see behind us there, or you can use with Spatial Analyzer, or our new software that we're pushing as well is Inspire. Neil, I want to find out more about some of the end-to-end -end solutions that you offer from a scanning uh, perspective. That's absolutely fine. From an end-to-end -end portable scanning solution, we have an AS1 scanner which will be connected to the arm. The AS1 scanner can also be connected into the cradle for the laser tracker. And the AS1 scanner as well, which you will see later on today, is actually outside running in a new robotic cell which people will actually be seeing today. So it's used for multi, a multitude of applications? It is, yeah. It's one scanner which can be used for, as you said, multiple applications. So it's one piece of hardware that can actually be used with a variety of different tools that Hexagon offer. An arm, a tracker, and also on the, on the robot cell. And can you give me some examples of the applications that each cell lends itself to? Yeah, with, with the arm, it can be anything from relatively small components uh, through to um, large larger parts depending on the size of the arm that you may use then when the arm finishes you'll be looking at using a laser tracker for for three applications inspection build and reverse engineering so depending on your application um, it may be an arm or it may be a laser tracker that you're looking to utilize for more automation solutions you would then possibly look at using an AS1 scanner in our new automated cell I can see some real advantages in, in regards to speed um, using a scanning or using the scanning technology, but, but what about the accuracy? Obviously the speed that you've mentioned there, with the AS1 scanner taking up to 1.2 million points per second, you've got an accuracy depending on the, what you're actually using it for, anything from 40 to 50 microns. So very accurate? Very accurate indeed, yes. Um, and the head, as you mentioned, is, is very modular and, and, and flexible and can be moved from one application to another. It is, yeah. The, the head is modular, so we can actually take it off an arm. And if you've got a cradle for the AS1, you can then use it directly with your laser tracker. So it's one scanner for a multiple... Uh, solutions that we offer. And can you give me an example of an application where potentially a customer or client is using all three? Yeah, um, a, a customer may be looking at using a, a laser tracker to set out um, a jig or a fixture for a, for a car, but then he might be in a situation where he needs to use an arm, so therefore he can use the arm with the tracker in combination with the AS1 for both pieces of technology for design and verification. And in this day and age, software plays such a big part in all of the hardware. Um, how big of a part does your software play in this solution? With Hexagon, we have a number of different software solutions, which can obviously tie in with various different pieces of hardware that we offer. So then it's not a case of a customer having to learn new software. It's just a case of clicking and obviously selecting the different device that he's looking to use, whether it be an arm, whether it be a laser tracker, can, can tie in with our software PC demos that you can see behind us there, or you can use with Spatial Analyzer, or our new software that we're pushing as well is Inspire. So lots of software solutions as well as hardware solutions, which are always evolving at Hexagon. Yeah, we're trying to provide, we're, we're trying to be the, the one-stop shop for your measurement, uh, measurement requirement, shall we say. So it, it, depending on obviously you may uh, have legacy software such as Spatial Analyzer, which can connect to all of the variety of Hexagon hardware that we offer. And one final uh, point really is the tube inspect, something that I've not personally seen before. Yeah, the tube inspect is, is something that's quite niche to Hexagon in regards to the, the measurement that it can offer. But obviously if you're making lots of uh, pipes and tubes and obviously you need to measure these quickly, we can do this. But not only that, we can get the correction data sent back to the bending machines. You may be in a situation as well where you've got legacy parts where you've got no data for. But again, we can use the tube inspect for reverse engineering to give you the data so that you can obviously produce legacy parts.